Hello, hello everybody, how's the here? Welcome to the first battle of the Tug of War Hammer. Um, little tournament fest that Moosey put on. Uh, got myself, Lionheart, against Moosey and Hef on this battle of Bill Barley. A lovely, lovely battlefield with two hills and a river flowing through it. I brought a mixture of Graveguard Crypt Horrors, whereas Lionheart's brought a more varied army of uh, Cairn Wraiths and Graveguard and Blood Knights, which we both brought to the battle. And you may notice that, wait a minute, why have you all spawned right on this left flank? Well, that would be because we did not want to cross the river and go uphill as slow undead units into a barrage of crossbows and guns. So we decided the best course of action would be to swing around and attack them on fairly level playing field. So as you can see as well, they brought some demigriffs and some rights guard in the forest, hoping to ambush ours, our cavalry and our units. So Lionheart's charging in his blood knives to try and go into the flank. Not quite noticing that we've got some enemy cavalry in the forest. Now we're going to have to see what happens here. Do we react in time or not? I've got my blood knives also heading towards the same direction. Although at this point I'm like, oh actually I'm going to go flank around instead. But oh, we've uncovered hidden foes, they're charging in. Lionheart sees this, spends one Blood Knight to stop the charge while bringing in the second Blood Knight unit to engage. Now the problem with this is he's got a right scar and a Demogorf unit fighting these Blood Knights on their own, losing a lot of health immediately. Where you've got my Blood Knights and my uh, reinforcing other Blood Knight unit coming in to charge the rear of the Demogorfs, doing a lot of damage, killing these lovely monstrous cavalry units, bloodying them up, letting them rue the day they ever fought the vampires. So as the battle progresses, we're trying to move as quickly as possible after we've defeated the cavalry units, because so we don't want to let them pepper us with crossbows, with thunderers, with mortars and great cannons. They have a lot of range units in this battle today while Hef and Moosey bring up their battle lines and wait for us to come to them. Mortis firing on my Grave Guard as we come into range. Now I'm wanting to swing and hit Hef while Lionheart swings round to hit Moosey. Because if we're both focused on Moosey, we just get shot in the rear and sides by a lot of thunderers. I realise that. Start sending my units as quickly as possible across to engage. Whereas a lot of uh, Moosey's crossbows are firing on my lovely Crypt Horrors here. It's not the best idea, so I send them across as quickly as possible. Thankfully crossbows don't seem to do a hell of a lot of damage against them. At least for the moment. Well, I send them in as quickly as possible. Got my Blood Knights reinforcing Lionheart Blood Knights on the flanks, sending them round the hill. And you've got Lionheart's main line forming up and deciding to come to attack the flank of Moosey. Now I charge in headstrong and quickly as possible because I don't want to leave the dwarves to shoot me to death. I need to get in, attack fast and hard as we come in with my Grave Guard. Grave Guard with great weapons. I'm hoping to clip some of the Thunderers, but unfortunately he brought his Longbeards in line too quickly. Now on this side, Moosey also charged me and I got clipped by some of his units, unfortunately, meaning the less units I'm engaging is draw than lines. So we engage the halberdiers on that side. My lord has been a bit cavalier, not been helping the main battle leadership, so I'm bringing him in as quickly as I can to help out. We've got Hef bringing in his uh, Ungrim Iron Fist and some reinforcing Dwarf Warriors with great weapons to come help. Lionheart starting the engagement on the Empire's flank. 
where you've got my Blood Knights charging the rear of these Empire soldiers. Ooh, epic charge there, epic. Bloodying the crossbows. Ruining their morale. As you move along the main line on my side, it's starting to falter a little bit. My health is waning on our left side, and especially on this main side on this side, because I think all of the Dwarven Thunderers that are available are firing in this blob. Not friendly, not friendly at all. So I think Lionheart and I are using our utmost attention to deal with any straggling units. Hit our Blood Knights, keep them cycle charging in and out, in and out. Do as much damage as possible while we focus on the main lines without infantry. Now I'll keep casting my spells to try and keep everybody happy. Although I miscast that one which really reduced my health. It's unfortunate because he was focusing cannon fire. Hef was focusing cannon fire on my lord. I'm doing a fair amount of damage. I'm starting to lose crumble on that left flank there. However, Lionheart's main lines are broken through and dealt with Moosey's lines pretty effectively. I'm just worried about my side. If my side breaks and mass uh, crumbles. Then uh, Hef's Dwarven units can just swing around and hit Lionheart hard. Now at this point, I'm like, oh, bugger, I need to get, get out, try and replenish. Did not notice his miners, but I think my lord just crumbled to death and got shot before the miners could do anything. Which is unfortunate, because that really started to kick some of my units into overdrive and the crumbling there. But Lionheart thankfully had the uh, good sense to retreat, cast Invocation of the Heck on his Manfred there, keep him strong, keep him alive, to bind our leadership together while my Blood Knights keep charging, keep interfering with the enemy's units. Doing very well for us here. Lionheart's focusing his effort on killing Lucy. Carl Franz there in the centre. Fighting skeletons, grave guard, and all the good things that come with that. Calfrans whacking Galmaraz around like nobody's business. So as you can see, my Blood Knights have started to rout some of the Lombiers here with their cycle charges, pitting, turning the scales of battle in my favour. I was really worried that my side was going to fall. As I kept in charging, breaking the enemy units, the Longbeards here. Fortunately, my Grave Guard on this side were not doing very well. Not at all. But without my Vampire Lord to cast Invocation of the Heck, they just had to take it and die. But yeah, Lionheart's starting to uh, swarm, kill any straggling units, come to help out charge the long beards, break them all. The battle starts to turn towards our favour, like three quarters in our favour now. The allied enemy troop count is pretty similar, but the enemy troop count starts to uh, greatly diminish compared to ours. I think the last hope of our armies is to kill Ungrim Iron Fist. He does not go down easy. Got Manfred here. Dealing with Carl Franz. Yep, there we go. Turning round. Casting his abilities. Carl Franz is now shattered. He will not come back to the fight. But Lionheart still wants to deal with him. Cast the Spirit Leech spell on there. Carl Franz there as he's running away. And now, time to focus all. All attention. Enemy Lord's dead. Carl Franz died? Yep, there he is. Down, face down in the dirt. Where his fellow Demogryphs fell. And here we are, Lionheart moving his units in. Moving 
as quickly as possible to support my engagement of Ungrum Iron Fist. I don't have a melee lord. My lord is dead. Uh, you've got Manfred. I think he's coming in. Yep, there he is. He's on foot, so it's going to take him a little while to reach Ungrim here. We've got Blood Knights, we've got Grave Guard, we've got Cairn Race, every unit left here. I'm trying to fight and kill Ungrim. Blooded scythes, blooded spears, blooded swords. Chipping away at Ungrim there. Blood pouring out of every orifice. But Ungrim does not care. He is a Slay King. He's taken an oath to die in glorious battle. He's unbreakable. But here we are as the rest of our army comes in to blob in magnificence to finish off Heth. So I'll probably just speed that up now. And it does take a little while for his general to die, as always when you come to fight and kill Ungrim Iron Fist. He refuses to die easy. But he just whittle, whittle his health away, surely but surely. Manfred coming in to help reduce his health a lot. And there you go. Ungrim Iron Fist falls this day. A Pyrrhic victory in the first battle of this lovely little tournament thing that Moose is hosting. Tug of Warhammer. So here we go. Did pretty well on my account. My Blood Knights doing brilliantly. Lionheart, same story. Blood Knights doing a lot of damage as well. The Necromancer getting off some good spells, it would seem. Moose's army, cheap, not that effective. Some of the Halberdiers did pretty good, but the rest of them negligible. The cavalry got owned pretty quickly. Hef took a pretty decent foray of dwarves getting not too shabby kills across the board but Lionheart and myself the vampire duo managed to take them out so yeah that has been the first part I hope you enjoyed please leave a like if you did subscribe if you want to see more battles and campaign content on Total War Warhammer so I've been Hacks the Hunter thank you for watching bye bye